Morning folks, Terry and Rick here, Bite Me Box Tip Ups. We're chasing panfish uh, in central Wisconsin. Uh, got our first flag here, let's see what we got. Get that reel back out of the way. Boy, those colds are keeping up real nice. Eight degrees this morning. Oh yeah, he's there. Got him? Oh yeah, that's a good fish. There's our line marker. So he, yeah, yeah, he can take oh. line. Yeah, he's fighting. Wow, there's a good fish. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that one. That's what we're after. That's what we're looking for right there. Folks, today we're using the Bite Me Box tip up. I want to show you a couple features in this that uh, really makes it unique over others. Number one, the most important thing is the heated part. Uh, on a day like this, we have single digit temperatures. Uh, we're down around eight degrees, so what we do is we put charcoal in there. Um, and what that does is that keeps that hole open and that'll also melt that frozen line when you wind it back up after catching a fish. Another thing that we do is we pack these boxes in real tight. Um, we, you know, we drill that hole, we have that slush or that snow, you pack that around there real tight, that insulates it. That helps hold that heat in there real nice. It allows just enough oxygen in there to keep that charcoal burning really slow so you get a long burn out of it. Oh, right there, we got another one up. All right, let's go get it. Bite me! Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, looks like that line's moving a little bit. See those oh, yeah, co coals there. got that hole nice and open. Yeah, I feel a little weight there, for sure. Yeah, we're hooked up. The little guy. Shows you the sensitivity of those though. Even bluegills we can get on these little guys. Talk a little bit about what we do out here. We fish these mud flats. Uh, that's where the larva is, um, the little worms and things like that. That draws the bait fish in. And then we spread those boxes out and, and that's what we're really looking for when we fish any body of water. Uh, you know, and one of the nice things about spreading them out and having a super sensitive bite system like the Bite Me is that in high wind conditions or cold, you're still effectively be able to set them up, spread them wide and test different depths and different heights off the bottom, different types of minnows, whether it be rosy reds, emeralds or shiners. Sometimes we pinch the tail off. It, it allows you to find out quicker throughout the day what the fish want by having more lines instead of just fishing a half hour here, jigging, and then moving to another hole. Now we're figuring it out right away, and what it means is more fish at the end of the day, and who doesn't want that? Bite me! This one's mine, boys! <laughs> wow, looks like there's a... Looks like he's got some line out here. Oh yeah, there he goes. Reels nice and smooth. Push that back out of the way. See those coals are keeping that hole nice and open. This sensitive bite today is doing the trick. We got cold front coming in and they're on a negative bite. Oh yeah, this one's got a little weight to him. A line marker. Been down in the mud eating on them worms too. So let me show you a little bit more about how this bite sensitivity works and why it's so crucial. It's our patented system. We have a reel that swivels back and forth along with a counterweight that is adjustable. So the first thing I do is I swivel that reel so that peg is sitting right on there, just so it's barely hanging on there. And then I adjust my counterweight back. We've got that bite sensitivity where if they even just breathe on it, it goes up. That's the difference, plus the smooth reel. They don't feel anything when they grab it and they don't feel anything when they leave. Now, if I wanna go stronger, I just pull my reel farther forward, bring my counterweight down. Now a big sucker minnow is gonna to have to float that back and forth till you finally get a real strong trip. These are the things that make a huge difference in the Bite Me Box tip up, coupled with the heating part of it. Nothing's freezing. At the end of the day, it just means more fish, less hassle. Oh yeah, it feels like there's something there. You can't put a price on that ultra light sensitivity. Oh yeah, there we go. That's got him. Yeah, he's there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, nice is. fish, oh, yeah. nice oh. fish. Yeah, that's what we're after. And having that, that adjustable bite sensitivity can make a huge difference when it comes to panfish and sensitive bite walleyes. Perch, crappies, even bluegills, guys. All right, we got one going. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, looks like there's something on there. Oh yeah, he's going. Oh yeah, good fish. Real nice fish. Yes, that's a good fish. 
Take that all day long. Let's go. All right, we got Marty, one. We got, got one up on the pink one here. Let's see what we got. That looks like something is there. We'll push that reel back out of the way for you. There you go. Take it easy with them. There's it comes our line marker. Took a lot of line. Oh yeah, that looks like a good one. Let me get him. Yeah. Oh, all right. Nice Three, five. Way to go. That. All right. Woo. Awesome. That's a beautiful fish. And on the pink one. Man, we've had a great day today. We've put a lot of fish on the ice. That heated tip up made a huge difference today. So for more information on the Bite Me Box tip up, you can follow us on Facebook or follow us online at boxtipups.com. For Terry, I'm Rick with Bite Me Box Tip Up. Stay tuned for more Midwest Outdoors.